Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now these are the image based questions which were asked in NEET MDS 2021 question paper series. So if you like this video, then please, please press thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel. Now let's start the video. The first question was about the mirocrine glands. So they have asked about the uh, salivary or sweat glands. So then, so salivary and sweat glands are mirocrine uh, glands. These gl glands are cell secre uh, secretory glands. Uh, so these cells secrete their substance by exocytosis called eccrine. The examples are salivary or sweat glands. The epocrine glands are uh, the glands in which a portion of secreting cells body is lost during secretion. The examples are ear seruminous gland or moles gland in the eyelid. Now next is holocrine gland. So holocrine gland is the gland in which the entire cell disintegrate to secrete its substances. Example, sebaceous gland. Now moving to the next question. The next question was about the histopathology of blue nevus. So in blue nevus, pigment producing cells are spindled and fusiform dendritic cells. Cells are confined to the connective tissue and they are separated and parallel to the normal overlying epithelium. These cells have less tendency to transform into uh, malignant lesion. Now, the next question was about the cementoblastoma. So, cementoblastoma is a benign neoplasm. It is most commonly seen in second to third decade of life. And this most common site is the mandibular, premolar or molar region and they are attached to the root of affected tooth and the tooth displacement and resorptions are the common features. Pain occurs in the 50% of the cases and the radio opaque mass is surrounded by a thin radiolucent halo. I hope it's clear. The next question was an image based question in which the needles are given. So these needles are used for bacterial meningitis. So in bacterial meningitis, bacteria penetrate the blood-brain barrier and endotoxin and inflammatory mediator initiate a CSF inflammatory response. So as a consequence, there is increase in brain water content and there is an increase in intracranial pressure. So these needles are used for direct needle aspiration. Now moving to the next question. The next question was about a pedigree. So this, is, this question was about the achondroplasia. So achondroplasia is an inherited autosomal dominant trait, which means if a child gets the uh, defective gene from one parent, then the child will have the disorder. And if one parent has achondroplasia, then the chance of inheriting disorder is there. I hope it's clear. Now moving to the next question. The next question was an image-based question of Merkel cells. So in this diagram, it is an electron micrograph of a Merkel cell in the basal layer of oral epithelium. So the cytoplasm of this cell is filled with small dense vesicle situated close to an adjacent un unmyelinated nerve exome. I hope it's clear. Now moving to the next question. The next question was about uh, oral mucoperiosteum. So in this a diagram of mucoperiosteum was given in the examination. So this diagram contains bone, periosteum, and epithelium, which together forms oral mucoperiosteum. Uh, so epithelium and periosteum together forms the lamina propria. I hope it's clear. Now, next question was about the hypophosphatasia. Then it was again an image-based question in which the uh, two exfoliated immature tooth were, uh, diagram of immature tooth were given. So the dental findings of hypophosphatasia include uh, there is a premature exfoliation of anterior teeth associated with deficient cementum. The loss of alveolar bone may be limited to the anterior region and the disease is characterized by improper mineralization of bone caused by deficient alkaline phosphatase activity in the serum, liver, bone and kidney. I hope it's clear. Now moving to the next question. So the next question in which the thyroid scan of Graves' disease was given. So uh, Graves' uh, Graves' disease is the most common cause of endogenous hypo hyperthyroidism, with a peak incidence seen in the women. So the Females are affected five times more than male, and the most commonly uh, women are about 30 to 60 years of age. 
and it is an autoimmune disease in which and thyroid respiratory stimulating antibody is unique to grave disease i hope it's clear moving to the next question the next question was about the osseo integration so osseo integration is a direct structural and functional conne connection between the living bone and the surface of load bearing artificial implant now moving to the next question so the next question was about the left primary bronchus so uh, a bronchus is a passage or airway in the respiratory system that conducts air into the lungs so the first bronchi to branch the trachea are the bronchus are the main bron primary bronchus i hope it's clear then moving to the next question so the next question was about the stages of amelogenesis so in the examination uh, uh, ruffle border uh, ruffle ended maturation stage was given so in this diagram figure a uh, depict the morphogenetic stage two is the inductive stage three is early secretory stage fourth is secretory stage diagram five represents the matu maturation ruffle ended stage six is maturation smooth ended stage and seventh is protective stage i hope it's clear and now moving to the next question the next question was a diagram based question in which a diagram of falciform ligament was given so the falciform ligament is a ligament that attaches the liver to the front body wall and separates the li liver into the left medial lobe and the right lateral lobe i hope it's clear now the next question was about the elastomeric impression compound so they have asked about the linear contraction of elastomeric impression compound in which they have asked about the condensation silicon so um, now this diagram uh, the uh, linear contraction of condensation its condensation silicon is the highest followed by polysulfide then polyether and addition silicon i hope it's clear the next question was about the nygaard osby frame so this frame uh, is a component of rubber dam so it is used to retain the rubber dam sheet the next question was about the torque so the term torque in orthodontics refer to differential movement of one part of a tooth while physically retaining any uh, movement of other parts so the term is often applied to movement of root without movement of the crown i hope it's clear now the next question was about the diphtheria antitoxin so diphtheria antitoxin is a medication made up of antibody that is used in the treatment of diphtheria and there is no longer recommended uh, it is no longer recommended for prevention of diphtheria now thank you thank you so much for watching this guys uh, that's all for today's video if you have any query any question then please let me know in the comment section and if you find this video helpful then please please press thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel and till then take care and happy learning thank you